change, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. I truly, truly believe in you. Let's get the hidden truth, okay, guys? From the hidden truth oracle. Spirit guides, answer this oracle. What's the hidden truth here for this morning reading? Thank you guys for participating. You know I adore you. Let's see what's going on here with the hidden truth. Spirit guides, thank you. It says, I couldn't let you get close to me, okay? So somebody was so imbalanced, so toxic, they didn't want you to see the truth, them, okay? So they did anything and everything and to, to sabotage you so that you couldn't use your gifts to see who they were, so that they couldn't take responsibility for who they were. Remember, you're a higher being, you're a divine feminine. So your spirituality and who you are, it's like pressure, okay? So people either level up to your standards or they level out, meaning they're, they're out, you know, so they run. Take it as it resonates, but it says, I don't react when people mention you. They're scared. They don't want to tell the truth about who they are, what they are, what they chose to do. And it's, it's got them in a funk where they can't grow anything. It says, you were the best thing in my life. This is why they're dwelling so much in this depression because you are wish fulfillment. Comes out over and over and over and they chose to be in a stalemate. Well, you got freedom through the confusions and the illusions that somebody wanted you to be in. It says, I bury myself and work to forget you. Now, this is the thing. You probably, a whole bunch of people have probably continuously kept doing this instead of sitting there with themselves and seeing themselves. They want to you know, bury themselves in work to forget about you, but then when they're not at work, they're watching and spying, and they're like, what the fuck? It's making them sick. Don't do this, guys. Don't do this. If somebody leaves you, let them leave you, okay? Because it's going to make you sick knowing that they're happy somewhere else or knowing that, you know, they're with somebody else. Even if they're not happy, they're trying to get under your skin so that you will be go backwards. Don't let it happen, okay? Idle hands is the devil's playground, so keep your hands busy. Find healthy coping mechanisms in order for you not to keep going back into this toxicity, into these patterns. You need to have freedom, okay? And work is not a good way because somebody is just not fucking available. Like I said, they're not available. They're ne they never were available. They're never going to be available. So let them be. You have your own world to think of. It says, I feel you even though we are apart. Now this is what they're fucking having an issue with. And this is why they won't fucking let you go. But they're with other people. They're not even available. It's toxic to the max. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Now I just got a download in my head. So it's like, you know, if they're with somebody, they even like speak your name in their sleep. Like they sleep talk. Says, I wish things would could be different. They want to celebrate with you, but there's a lot of stalemate here. And it says, we both know that I'm not the one for you. There's a lot of insecurities here because they're clearly did some toxic ass fucking shit. And it says, I wonder if you're happy without me. So look, it says, uh, you were the best thing in their life. Okay. And now they're so fucking insecure. We, we, we will get back together. I want you. And it says, I want to tell you how I feel. It says, I want to be more than friends. I wish I could share my good news with you. And it says, I remember, the, every, uh, I remember every detail of that day. Okay, they remember everything that they've done to you. And this is what's causing them to be bounded, trapped in this toxicity. They, you know, I can only speak for myself. I told my ex that, you know, he was going to suffer for what he did because he knew I didn't do anything. He could portray that to everybody else and, you know, say he was happy all he wanted. But at the end of the day, he was just going to suffer by himself because he knew truly who I was, what I was, and how much I had done. And I didn't want anything in return but respect. And because he didn't give that to me, he was going to suffer himself. It is what it is, guys. And this is exactly the story that's going on here. Because they remember it. Everything. And they remember what they could have done that day. And they chose not to. And you said no. You said enough was enough. You were done being the doormat. And so somebody, because you chose to walk away, and because you were the best thing in their life, they chose to disrespect you, 
put you in all kinds of trauma and tribulation because they were so codependent. They wanted you to still make you seem like, they just wanted to scapegoat you is what it comes down to, guys, okay? So let's get a message here. Wow. Okay, so I only want one, so one message, okay, from our subconscious to help us. What do we want to ask, okay? What do we... Let's get some guidance for, from our subconscious right now, okay? It says, what if it was easy? Okay, ask yourself, what if it was easy? It says, it doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all the power. Find a solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease. Call in grace. Receive guidance. You are supported. That's why you, you, you walked away. You knew you were supported. You didn't have to be supported in the 3D because you knew people were so ego-driven. As long as you were spirit, as long as you knew that every step you took was ceremony, you appreciated everybody in your life and you did what you needed to do when you needed to do it. The today's soul activation. List 10 possible ideas for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it. It's time for change, guys. You have to say yes to change. You have to turn that fucking shit into fertilizer. Let's get the high priestess of light. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's time to be gratefully optimistic, okay? You have this divine bodyguard, this protection. You need to have a joyous view of the future, okay? You went through all, everything, look. And you, have, you powered through the difficulties. It's time to reclaim back your power, to stand firm, to have the grateful optimism that you're not in these same patterns anymore and that you have achieved something with effort plus intention, guys. Your manifestating are coming true because you reclaim back your power, you found your throne, you stood it on your, you know, ten toes down, you, you stood on your shit. And you really, really see the future. You were guided to illuminate other people's past so that they don't have to stay stuck either in this criminal-like mindset at the heart of the deck. And they too can be courageous, follow their path, see what's going to give them good fortunes. And it's not going to be in one hand and out the other. It's about longevity, guys. It's about, you know, persistence and patience and knowing that you're fucking going to get it, that you deserve it. Your achievements, you've done this all on your own. Star Seed, it says your life is a canvas. Artist manifesting and creating accountability. You need to take accountability for our actions. We have a blank canvas, okay? You have the paintbrush. It's up to you to take responsibility of what the fuck you paint. Star family, guys. You are part of a bigger star family. Like I said, even the sky is in the limit. You're a fucking star seed. You're part of a team of souls. It's time to call in support. It's time to see that you have creative accountability. It's time for you to take accountability, have this grateful optimism, and go towards your achievements, your power, your strength, and reclaim back your shit. It's the sea of Mantigo, okay? You're seeing your potential. You're bringing your unconscious to light so that this way you can see that you have a double mission. You're a light worker, a star sieve, and you're serving the world by being you, authentically you, an ener empathic star seed. I don't make it up. Energetic sovereignty. You're absorbing what's not yours. And this is why you see that they, you couldn't grow anything in this situation. And that people were trying to keep you in balance. And you know exactly who the fuck you were. And you stood in your power and now you're getting wish fulfillment. It's fucking beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's get a message from the oracles and uh, subconscious and see what's going on here. Spirit guide, show me one message. Ooh, ooh. Fuck, you got the world. Somebody is naked, okay? You have to be naked in your truth. It says... Do you feel exposed or outed in some kind of way? What is making you feel inadequate, guilty, ashamed, or vulnerable? What do you need to release? Connection. Okay? We are all connected by a universal sea of energy. All that you think and do is affected by the world. Reach out and connect with the world around you through love. Remember, when we heal, 
the inevitable, uh, the ener energy externally inevitably has to heal too if they want to stay in our vibration, if they want to stay in our life. Remember that, guys. Always remember that, okay? And the last one is chaste. Like I said, you used to, you might have used to be a chaser. And you said, no, I know my worth. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm chasing trash. Like, and you just said, fuck this. It says, what are you running away from? What is making you feel overwhelmed? And what are you afraid and unwilling to face? You stood there. You faced your fucking darkness. You faced your inner demons. You're not afraid of anything. You're not chasing after nobody. And you're definitely not being chased. If you're being chased, you turn around. Believe me, I was, I, I was followed for a long time in the city. And this group that continuously kept following me, everybody was scared of them. And Tasha? Crazy, crazy. So when I started realizing that they were following me, I started following them, motherfuckers. Yeah, they didn't like that very much, eh? When you fucking turn the tables on them and then all of a sudden you're the fucking, yo, be the hunter, not the hunted. Bitch, you're a fucking threat and then people know it. Do not let people get under your skin. Know your value. Let's see what your ancestors got going on here, okay? You're an empathetic starseed and you're, you're definitely divinely guided. You're dancing with the lies, the illusions. You see the truth for what it is and you're being ex extremely inspirational. You're taking the lessons, the life lessons through all the experiences and you're seeing the lies and you're finding your strength internally to be your own companion and hunt after your vision and dance with life so that you can nurture yourself, honor yourself and be part of the stars. And the ancestors, the ascended masters have gave you this knowing to start a new beginning so that we can all start reflecting and having a new birth. But we have to have sorrow to see the mysteries of life, okay? And to birth something new, we have to go through the pain. We have to feel the burn. We can't continuously keep suppressing it or drowning it with, you know, some kind of codependencies or something. No, we have to face it. There's a lot of mysteries in life. A lot of spell work, guys, that are keep, it's a control issues that somebody has. And they can't fucking control you because you're a fucking hierophant. Now, it could be... You know, a religion-based mindset that's trying to keep you controlled. Now it's for change, guys. It's time to have change. It's time to bring all those religions into one. Find a solution to your fucking problem. Because somebody's the star, guys. And it's a 17 reduced down to an 8. So it's about what you give, you get back. Somebody is powerful. And somebody got tried to get set up because of how beautiful, how powerful they are. And how they are definitely <laughs> everything everybody wants to be. It's like that energy. Everybody wants to be like Mike. Well, everybody wants to be like Tasha. Yo, a lot of copycats are being exposed right now because they try to set you up. Okay? So my collective is like a Tasha. You know, helping a lot of people. And you're ready. You're ready to know the truth about what's really going on. Because you're a fucking empress. Okay? Male or female, it's irrelevant. You're the matriarch. You use your heart. You're the star seed. And this is why you have the bodyguards. This is why you can move on, move forward, and do well wherever the fuck you are. You can get jump, dropped off by a mother, in a motherfucking plane in the middle of anywhere, and you know that you will get good things because you are with love. It's a time for love. You are the magician. You have all the tools in your toolbox, and you don't have to fucking do some dark-ass magic like these motherfuckers do. That's why they're stuck. And that's the justice. You have a right to know that somebody clearly did too much, and your payoff is coming, okay? So keep pushing at the heart of the deck. Keep pushing. Keep chilling. Your body tells you to rest. Rest, guys, because you're safe. You're an earth angel. You're safe. You're the energetic star seed. You're safe. And somebody didn't want you to be perceived as this earth angel. They wanted to discard you, cast you out, have this lack of perceptive perception so that this way you will overindulge self-indulge like them and go backwards chase them you know say well I, if i can't beat them i'll join them the fuck with that you just paved a whole new way for yourself with the healing this was way over here with my ruins i guess that means i should grab some ruins okay so let's grab some ruins okay so you're doing the healing 
and you're teaching others how to do this healing too and it's a check a check mark okay so where is it oh it's not a check mark it's upside down okay so it's the sea lake and flow so you may be going towards the sea okay remember this the salt water is purifying okay so it's time to just purify your body the sun and good fortune because god creator rasugway this is whomever you believe in believes in you and bringing you good fortune because it's this little fishy thing and it's in her inheritance and home you get the generational inheritance your ancestors are inheriting you with the gifts because you are their home you are if you watched the reading yesterday the ancestors are you know so grateful that you're able to speak up speak out do the things that they weren't able to do and that's allowing you to be the oh, capital b <laughs> for real capital b you don't bend you don't borrow you don't break you don't buff for nobody you are fucking birthing something new a birch a new beginning this is what this is guys congratulations so of course somebody and every, a lot of people are going to want to get up on you because they see you as you know prosperity and you communicate with the fucking gods because that's your inheritance so they're gonna get jealous you're a fucking earth angel but there's nothing anybody can do about it as my girl maji likes to say god hire you who's gonna fire you let's get one last closing message thank you and you got number 17 again number 17 reduced down to an eight guys what you put out you get back the empress is 17 too no where is she? No, that was three. So where was 17? What was 17? Let's see. I know there was a 17 here. The star. So the Empress star, okay? So number 17. So somebody is beautiful, like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Inside, outside, art. <laughs> Earth Angel, and somebody's on the fucking down low. So they got a lot of shit to fucking hide when they're trying to throw you under the bus. Like, holy fuck. Anyway, 17, okay? It reduces down to 8. What you put out, you get back, guys. It's the mirror of truth. Determination, achievements, and ambition. There's a great determination and focus about you. You have set your sights on a goal and are determined to reach it. You, have fo you are focused and ready for new challenges. Nothing at this time can stand in your way. There is a newfound inner strength of, and it's empowering. You can feel the energy within you. The future looks bright and there is a feeling of wanting more from life. This card suggests that it is just the beginning of your journey. Imagine how much more you can achieve if you can just stay focused. It is important not to be distracted at this time. As the more focused you are, the quicker you will reach your goals. Booyah. That's why they know that you're traveling, so they want to keep you in balance. They want to keep you distracted, but it's not working because you're fucking not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. Let's get... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get the Tasha T message, okay? Yeah. You're protecting yourself by not paying attention. <sighs> the heart of the deck, it says... You are the artist of your life. Don't hand a paintbrush to anybody. Like I said, life is your canvas. And you are choosing to protect yourself because you're the empress. You're the star. Your dreams are coming true. You are the fucking truth. And look, making big life changes, changes is scarier, but you know what's scarier? Regret. Somebody is in a lot of regret for ghosting you <sighs> because now, you know, things aren't exactly working out for the best for them they aren't able to grow shit because of what they wish for you she acts like summer and walks like rain somebody is very balanced as above so below that's why they got the protection from both as above so below yo i hope this helped you i hope it resonated in whichever way you needed it let's get one last closing message from the witch's oracle to see what they have to say for us and it says seduction yeah, somebody uh, really is either trying to say that you're a seductress or they tried to seduce you and this is why you're like, get the fuck out of my face, I don't deal with this, you're disrespectful, I'm not, nope, not playing, okay? It says, hear the roar of flame and the master trance that's calling upon uh, heathen's chest. Give it, give in to its gulps, grasps, if you please, 
but heed the warning of the claws that draw blood without mercy. See what I mean? You have to fucking keep in consideration these fucking people and how they're just gonna fucking bleed you dry. They're just gonna make you feel like you can't grow shit back in those patterns. It's time to be free of this fucking energy, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, look, this energy is just gonna continuously look. They start off like this, seductress, but then all it is is degrading the darkness. That's all you're doing. These these three wit witches or whatever the fuck they are, this threesome, whatever this is, yo, it's got somebody really fucked up. Because somebody is going on a journey either way. It says, daughters of the mothers, walkers of the unknown. Take with you on this journey all that you home. <laughs> Somebody, this empress, star, you, earth angel, are on a double mission. And you're taking all the knowledge from as above, so below, with you to find solutions to everybody's problems, not just your own. You are helping a lot of fucking people. And that's what's causing a lot of people's panties to be up in a little roar. But guess what? Hmm. Cheers. Don't ever change who you are. Okay, guys? I hope this resonated. I hope it helped you on your journey. It gives you some clarity, some understanding, some perspective, and some enlightenment. If you want a more personal reading, as these are timeless, general, and collective, and may not resonate from start to finish, I'll put all my information at the bottom. Please don't hesitate me to contact me for a more personal reading. I'd love to dig into your cards and help you on your journey, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for all the donations, the participations. I haven't actually got any donations in a, like a month, but it's not the point. The point is, is I do this for free because I love you guys and I love my clients. My clients are awesome. So, you know, hit me up. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Have a beautiful weekend and I'll see you later. Bye.